and welcome back. Today I'm going to look at an app called Amendly. I'm currently on my iPhone but you can also get it on your Android as well. I'll just get you up and running quickly. So first download Mendeley. Once you have Mendeley, open it for me. Now top left hand corner I want you to select where it should have your username and profile. Now you've got four options there. The first option allows you to sync to your server online, which I showed at the end of the video so you know how to do that. And that's great to share your references and sources with maybe your desktop app on your PC or maybe you've got it on your, your Mac. Or maybe you just want to share it with a server and other people. So if I select sync now, it will automatically sync any references from the web server. Now you see at the bottom there, it's got groups. You can add groups through your web server. I'll show you that later as well. But go back to your top left hand corner option. Next, select your profile, make sure you set that up correctly. You can add your academic degree, institution and education if you wish. Go to settings and choose what you want to do there. Choice is yours. Now we'll come back out of there and I'm going to click close. Now see at the top we've got my library and we've got various options. We've already got some folders there. For example, recently added down to my publications. What you can do first is select the add button and you can create a new folder. Select create folder, depending on obviously what you're going to be sourcing. So I just put in history as an example and select save. Now it goes straight into the folder. Now if you come back out top left hand corner, you can see I've now added that folder at the bottom there. You can add as many folders as you want. Now I'm ready to go. Before I do, just top right hand corner, select edit. If you don't want that folder, if you click edit, you can then delete it. But I do not want to do that, so I'll select done. So I'm going to open up my history folder. Now I'm ready to do some research. Now I'm going to come out of the app, and I'm going to open up Safari. I'm going to search Google Scholar. Open it up. I'm going to find any source to do with history. I'm going to scroll down and see if I can find a journal. I'm going to choose this option here, Deconstructing History, and select to the right the PDF option here. Tap on it to open it. Now here's a source that I might want to use. So come to the bottom here, you've got this little option here, select it. Then scroll along till you find your copy to Mendeley and tap on it for me. And Mendeley will now open, give it a little while. It's added it for me automatically. I need to put in a specific folder, so come to the bottom, select the folder option, and I'm going to select Add To, and I'm going to add that to my history folder, and then select Choose. Now, if I come out there, and I go into my history folder, I've now got my first source. Why I'm in there, actually, if you tap on it, it brings up all the information again. And if I add it to your favours, select the little favour option at the bottom there, but what I want to do is come up to edit and select on it. Now at the top it says reference type, just double check that it says it's a report, so I'm going to leave it as that. It's got the title, it hasn't got the author, so any information that's missing, click plus and you can add that information separately there. Scroll down as well, you can also add the catalogue IDs and even add the URL so I could paste that in. So if I go back, open it up, tap the top, tap again copy. I'm not sure how it works on the Android but it must be pretty similar. And then I'm going to paste into here. And then come down and select save. So I've now saved that information. So there's my first source. I'm going to come back out of there. While I'm in this section here, if you select edit at the top, you can delete that if you don't want to either. But I'm going to click done and tap on it again tap to the bottom again and now we can open it up. So now you can start annotating information. Now you've got an option here, I've got it set to scroll from right to left so I can go through each page. But if you come up the top, tap on it once again, if you come up the top and select these four rectangles, you can see all your pages jump to them quickly. Again I'm going to come back out of there, click back on it again. I could also use the settings button here with my page transitions I can choose what kind of page transitions I want by using that option or I might want to scroll vertical rather than horizontal you can choose that option 
appearance so you can see it better so if I select the black background and you can see it's turned the text white or more of a cream colour choice is yours but I'm going to leave it on the standard white and you can choose the brightness there as well tap off that also I have to set this option here you can search in a document for words so I'm just going to put the that way you can jump through each page looking for keywords if you need them as well and select done also if you tap right into the document hold your finger there again it might be a bit different on the Android then I could choose for example highlight option or I could add a note so if I click this option here I could add a quick note do more research and click done so if I tap off that you can now see that little note so if I tap on it brings it up and access information so that's good when you need to reference certain bits also if you tap into it I can highlight certain bits of text so if I select this option here I've now highlighted that text and click back to come out of there and come back out of the folder by clicking the arrow again let's do another bit of research so I'm going to go back to Safari and come out of there let's find a different source let's scroll down so we can find something else go to the next page and I'll choose the top option there history of economic and I'm going to select open in Mendeley click retry does depend on your internet speed and there we go it's found the information for me and the ISBN number of the book so now if I click the bottom file should be able to open it up and then I can go through the information and find what I'm looking for remember tap back on it once you can add your options at the top again I want to come back out there come back out there again now if you go to the top all documents these are all the documents you've downloaded in case you feel you've lost them so there's one I've just added so if I click back on it go to the folder option and I'm going to add that to my history folder so keep everything organized and select choose now we've got catalog IDs click to the right of the catalog ID it will go to wellcat.org where you can find that article there and access it quickly through the meta link if I can go back to Mendeley now if I go back again to the bottom bit to access the actual information if I go top right here it should give me an outline and there you've got half title, title and all your chapters to go through so you can access the information quickly you don't get that with every source but worth a look at and select back and go back to all documents and back to your main window so in history you can see I've now got that safely in there now if I come to the top right hand corner select this option here and you can sort them by if you prefer title, author or year and then it will put them in the order that you select now quick thing I want to show you come to the bottom where it says feed give it a second to refresh now this might take a little while to update now if I, this will try and give you any articles that's related to the ones you've just currently downloaded so worth a look at but it can take a little while I've noticed sometimes it's taken up to 10-15 minutes but see how you get on with that and then you can scroll down and you might see something you think is quite useful you can select the link or select add to your library and then select open document and again remember organize stuff go to the bottom select your folder either trash it or add it to the folder that you require and select choose and close so let me go back to library once you've grabbed all your sources that you require I'll come back out of here and go back to the main window this is where you can go to your profile name and select sync now this will sync information to the internet which you can then share so I'm going to go into history so I'm going to add a source I'm going to add the history of economic analysis let's come back out because I want the folder option select folder select add to and I'm going to add it to a nursing group and select choose and now I've added it to my online server which then I can share with my desktop or maybe on the Mac or maybe you want to share it with different groups the choice is yours
there's some basics to get you up and running quickly. So it's okay syncing, but where do you actually sync your sources to? Open up your browser for me, whatever you're using, and type in there for me, Web Mendeley. And select Web Mendeley. Now if you haven't already signed up, I have. Select Sign Up or Sign In. And I'm already in. So have a look to the left here. Remember when we last looked at the app, I uploaded that, that history of economics source and I sent it to nursing. So if I now select nursing, here it is. I can now view it in the library, add it to my favourites. I can even post in a group. So if I select post in group, I can share that information with other people that's also researching. I can select invite members if you've got any, then type in who you want to share your sources with. So it's so easy to do. If you look at my video tutorial on the desktop Mendeley for Mac and PC, you can also sync it from there and share. So you can sync it across multiple medias quite easily. And that's how easy it is to use. Thanks for watching.